So I wanted to take a minute at the start of this and just tell you guys that uh, I don't know why this is just a really special game to me. Uh, the first one, one it was one of the most liked videos that I ever did when I played uh, Watch Dogs for the first time back in 2014. The first video broke well over 100,000 likes. Now I, I've posted a lot of early content for Watch Dogs 2, uh, so I don't expect that <laughs> to happen again. That was pretty awesome, but um, I did want to say that back. During that time, I actually dedicated that first video to a fan who was killed by a drunk driver. Uh, a guy lost his wife and daughter, and the daughter was a big fan of mine. So I'm rededicating that to her. I'm going to leave names out of it uh, this time and everything. But just, you know, gone but not forgotten, I feel. So uh, with that being said, not to get all emotional, but um, I was going to do a pretty big giveaway on this video since this is the official part one of Watch Dogs 2. I was going to give away an actual PlayStation 4 uh, and if you had a chance to win, just either like the video or leave a comment of when you found my channel. It would actually be cool to see how many of you watched the first game with me. But anyways, that being said, I hope you uh, enjoy the video. <laughs> Sorry to get all emotional at the start, but with that being said, let's get it. Whatever they have on me, it's all bullshit, and I'm sick of getting harassed for it. All the more reason for a purge. We'll be watching. Try to keep up. By the way, we put this playlist together to set the mood. Hope you like it. So I'm going to tell you guys right now, to be able to finally start this game from the actual beginning is uh, huge. So I, I don't know what it is, but I am just, I am pumped for this game. That is a lot for a security guard, sir. Take some pictures. You know, the one thing is, uh, it's definitely such an upgrade from Watch Dogs, the very first one. Now, the intro to Watch Dogs, if you never saw it, where you black out the stadium, was so nice. I'm about to take this bitch down. Now, the cool thing is, I did do some footage. Hang on. Let's choke this. Choke him out. It would just, man, it would mean the world to me if this, uh, this video did well. What I would like to have happen is, uh, see it. I don't know if it can top what the, uh, original Watch Dogs did. I think that was over 100,000 likes. That was one of the most liked videos I think I've ever had, uh, besides Fallout 4, I believe. It would just be really sick, but... Yeah, I, I got a chance to play this part of the game. Uh, I just wasn't allowed to show it for some reason. So, this is kind of like the initiation of Marcus getting into Dead Sex, so... I wonder if I can just hop down. Yeah, that'd be good. Alright, so they're right there. I'll just go this way. No one suspects a thing. I love it. So this is this is kind of like him like proving to them uh, what... I guess if he's worth joining them and everything, so... We gotta find out where this goes to. It looks like it just goes up to the top. The parkour and everything, like, this is so smooth. They did a good job with that. But I think we're good. It was so cool to get to play this game as early as I did, uh, but, you know, when the official release did come out, Get a chance to actually play it from the beginning. You're wasting your time. He's not in. Gotcha. So that's him. He's got a gun. Is that a problem? Well, problems are why you keep me around, right? Time him. I'm curious. Too late. He's in. Already? Don't say I don't know. I have no idea. Nuh-uh. No synonyms either. 
Give me a real answer. I'm just not that into aliens or video games. It's not just any alien. It's... Oh, come on. Anyone else having a problem with their phone? Oh, what? Oh, God. Oh, God! All right, guys, we got the key. What I'm going to do next, let me just make sure uh, we have all these enemies up here. I'm going to have to go up here to this main server and wipe basically my existence before I can join them. We'll see what happens. I don't know if they changed anything since I did do this once before. The intro for this, it honestly reminds me of uh, Terminator 2 a little bit. This feels like Cyberdyne Arthur Systems Neal. 101. He was raised in Oakland, but was born in... <laughs> His deal is, he's been hanging around the DedSec IRC, and he's got cred. Figured we'd give him a test drive. On the hardest difficulty, nobody's been able to delete their CTOS profile before. I want to see if he's smart, stubborn, or both. It's like a pool ball on a rope. I've never seen that. Wait, is that an eight ball? I can't tell. Black and white, I think it is. We gotta be cautious. I don't wanna get spotted. I want this intro to be kinda, you know, nice and neat. I do have a stun gun I could use. Take his money. All the even the animations are so much better. All right, we looks like we got two on this floor, maybe? Or no, hang on. There's one all the way to the right. Oh, they're both right here. Wait, this is the floor I need to be on, too. All right, so let's try to take these guys down. I don't want him to spot me. I think we'll be good, though. Doesn't matter. Ooh, that was close. That was really close. Gotcha, bitch. Nice. All right, we did it. Now we just got to use this. I think we're good. He's done this before. CTOS tagged him as a prime suspect in a high-tech burglary. So... He's done time. Community service. Not enough evidence. Just the word of CTOS's predictive algorithms. But once in the system. Always in the system. Could have just stayed right here until the time remaining hit. It is. I think that was the last guy, anyways. So we got uh, like 90% of stealth on this one. Climb inside Holy the server shit. tower. He went for it. You won't have much time before the backups kick in. Damn, we are rolling right now. Is there anybody up here? I don't think so. Holy shit, hang on, let's go back this way. Going in the hot aisle. It's at least 120 degrees in there. Give the man props. He's going the mile. Nobody's gotten that far. 
This is like the secret cow level. Alright, I guess we just run back down and I think we should be good. Oh, and just so you guys know, I was just gonna kinda keep the uh oh shit, these guys are waking back up. I was gonna keep because I think like the first operation I've already posted that once. Keep your eyes open. Somebody knocked me down. Right, let's go. Spread out and track him down. I have an idea. Can I just hop over? That wasn't too bad. But yeah, not to confuse people, I just wanted to kind of keep the, uh, the story and everything going. So you you may see the first operation again. Oh, this dude's about to go down. Nice. Let's fucking go, man. I to think we're good. So hold on. Alright, so what you have to do to actually get into the system, you have to activate this. And then we'll, uh... Unlock our first, I guess, puzzle, if you would. But we gotta bring the energy over here. That should do it. What the fuck? Why is my threat so high? I actually get to do it myself. Look at that search. <laughs> what the hell is that? This is bullshit. I could just delete everything. Let's do that. Like it never happens. I kind of wonder if I actually get to make my own. Uh... Hold on, let's see. Man, it's like the new online. Oh, wow. I'm about to steal an identity. What happens if I just do this? Just gonna drop a little back door into the system so I can get back inside later. Sorry, Bloom. We've got unfinished business. He's heading out. Bag him. Yeah. Alright, hacking. Yeah, we've pretty much been over that before. Wait for it. There's something over there. Oh, you didn't... You know what? You're distracted. Oh, he just walked into it anyways. Well, never mind then. Let me take your money, sir. <laughs> I say, you know what? There we go. You just walk over it, I think. I was curious about that. All right, we gotta escape. Get the hell out of here, basically. So, you know what? I could just hop down. I can either go down the steps over and over. There's a guy down here. Ooh, I may not go that way. Ooh, that's close. That guy's like running around. You see that? What the hell? This dude is coming up here. Are you kidding? Okay, he is. Dude, look how many blue icons are around me. That shit is insane. Is there any above me? I don't think there is. Fuck, man. I'm so trapped right here. Come on up here. You know you want to. Come on up here, man. Give it up. You know, I may just run for it. I wonder if they can actually get me. Who wants 
Doesn't matter. There we go. Go to sleep, bitch. All right, time to get going. No one suspects a thing. One more level. One more level, then I'm hopping over, man. Yeah, let's just do this. Like it never happened. I guess we're good. Yeah, let's just keep on going. I don't see anybody back here. We should be good. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Hold it right there. Help him. Where the fuck am I going? Josh! Okay, okay. Fuck you, Bloom! In 2013, Chicago realized the promise of smart cities with CTOS, a citywide operating system merging big data with surveillance, security, and transit programs. With a few hundred lines of code, hackers were able to hijack its central servers and cripple the entire grid. Many believed the attack would be a killing blow for smart city development. They were wrong. Coordinated from the heart of Silicon Valley, CTOS 2.0 has been implemented across the United States, ushering in the Internet of Things. 6.4 billion connected devices now serve as collection points, mapping and recording our daily routines, making a more secure and more invasive system. But who else is listening? Big Brother no longer works alone. Thousands of little brothers monitor and aggregate your every move building a complete digital profile of you to be bought, sold, or stolen in an instant. Toys study your children, reporting their play habits back to marketers. Appliances, consoles, and home security systems give corporations a window into your private life. Control of your vehicle and mobile device can now be breached remotely by anyone at any time. You may think that you are immune or underestimate the risk, but your digital shadow is already compromised. Insurance companies use algorithms to monitor your life habits and limit or deny coverage. Health providers determine if your cancer is worth treating. Search results and news feeds are skewed to bias mood and influence your vote, engineering social uprisings on a massive scale. You are now less valuable than the data you produce. Data you produce. This is the new reality. Going dark is no longer an option. With threats to personal freedom rising, many are stepping forward. Whistleblowers, activists, and hackers have drawn their battle lines, putting the establishment on watch. But are they threats themselves, or have they become freedom's last line of defense? Freedom's last line of defense. So? Am I in? Welcome to Dead Sec. I'm Satara. This sweetheart is Josh, AKA Hot Sauce. Yo, you're Hot Sauce? Yeah, man, I loved your frat house hat. Real talk. Thanks. This weirdo's wrench. The needs of the many. And this Casanova is Horatio. What's up, brother? Something. It's the crew, huh? Took y'all long enough to come get me. Shit. You saw Bloom's bullshit. CTOS isn't just regulating infrastructure. The amount of personal data that thing is collecting is fucking mind blowing. Yeah. It's Big Brother and Little Brother all rolled up into one. Huh? Sees everything you do and tells on you. Thank you, Josh. So what's the fix? Sledgehammers and fire. No! Sledgehammers on fire. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All of that data in one place means they can reject your fucking application before you click on it. Congratulations, you have been pre-rejected for our credit card. Or your house, or your insurance. That's not even the worst case scenario. All that data in the hands of the government? They'll arrest you for shit before you even do it. Yeah, I've been there. Now I fucking know why. 
Man, f fuck it. Fuck it, man. We're hackers. We we out think, we out there. I, I say we tear down the fucking wall. Hey, show everyone what what Bloom's up to, man. Show show the world that their personal data is being used to rob them of their fucking freedoms. Fuck. I installed a back door, so all we gotta do is walk right through. Uh, hold on. You what? He installed the back door, so all we have to do is walk through. Bingo. Hey, man. Do you have the time? Oh, yeah, man. I, I got it. I got it. <sighs> Oh, late for a night run, isn't it? Hey, what are you, what are you running from the cops? <laughs> Maybe I am one. Hey, hey you, you look familiar. <laughs> Have a good party. <laughs> Fucking ping this motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck you, Bloom. I'm gonna go have a goddamn good time. Hello? Whose phone is this? It's your new phone. Where is my phone? In the ocean, where you threw it, I think. I don't remember. I was pretty smashed. Look, meet us at the hackerspace. Where? Check your pics and figure it out. I guess I was lit, huh? <laughs> like Mardi Gras. Go get yourself something to wear, and I'll tell you where to go next. Oh, and you'll need your phone ready for operations, so hit the store and download your apps before you get here. Damn, walk of shame on my first day. So for some of you, this mic she might look a little familiar, uh, but this is what's cool about it is I'm gonna, since the game's like an open world type game, uh, I was gonna just keep going like I'm starting the game and everything else. So, uh, thank you guys for any and all support you put on here. Let's see, we got Noodle Maps. You can actually install other stuff too. I'm trying to see, they've actually added some stuff since I played like some early access of it. What the hell's Director's Cut? Oh, nice. I think I'm good on everything else. World and activities, clothing shops, and kiosks. Oh, we're good. You know, the cool thing about the first Watch Dogs is it was mostly, like, in the city of Chicago. And the fact that this one's, like, all the way out here, like, it's so much more colorful. <laughs> it's, like, way more colorful. All right, let's find some new pants first, though. Did the cops notice me if I'm not wearing any, uh... I guess they don't care. Whatever. All right, we gotta go all the way over here. I guess what we could do is go to here. We can fast travel. That's actually something I didn't know <laughs> early on. All right, so one of the cool things about this game, uh, being able to customize your character. Each shop has different types of clothing, which I think is really like a nice touch. I think like Saints Row did that really well. So let's find us some pants since this, this is the time the videos actually matter. I don't know. You know what? I like these. I think I had, I might've had these. And the other ones. I'm not really a fan of skinny jeans. Oh, those look badass, though. 
We we have to. We have to get that. And I guess as far as tops go, I don't need a leather jacket, but I don't know. I might actually, uh, I'm actually kind of look around and explore. Seems like it'd be a little hot for a jacket. Oh, that looks kind of cool. You know what? Let's do it. And I think I'm good. I actually gained some followers from just putting right, on different Sitara, clothes. So where you at? Sending you the location and the passcode for the door. No, we haven't done yet. Haven't shown you any driving. Oh, this definitely feels like uh, the San Francisco area, all the hills and everything. I'm gonna take this. Oh, look at the dog! He's chilling. All right, navigation and driving. Doesn't really matter. Damn, they updated everything. Might show you some driving, but I want to make this first video as long as possible and just kind of story driven. So if you've seen the other videos that I did, I did do the operation that's most likely going to be popping up first. Uh, there's like an overall story and then there's then there's like the little stories within those stories. So those are operations and then we have like the overall operation. Oh, you know what? I really want this bike. Hold on now. He's gonna, gonna sit there, let me take it. Whoopsie, bitch. We out. Nice. I wondered. Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't really have a lot of the abilities just yet. I wonder if you can pretty much go anywhere over here. This is so cool. I'm gonna hit a ramp, why not? You know, as, as flat as the first game was, as far as, like, the road and everything, they did a good job with this, man. Oh, shit! Oh, I about killed myself there. All right, let's go ahead and start this up. We basically are going to the hacker space. And again, like, if you've seen this stuff before, you know, I really, this really doesn't matter, but... I don't know, we're going to see if they've changed anything. We got a Scout X location nearby. I don't... That's the thing I haven't installed on my phone yet. Let me go check it out. Hang on. I <laughs> just let it fall over. Here it is. I don't... Okay, it's already on there. So basically you find these different landmarks. You take pictures or selfies with them. And you're good to go. How many times have we come through here? You can talk to that guy. He has a pretty nerdy conversation. I kind of has the big fuck you hand at the start. <laughs> it's like, what's up, bitches? Yo! Finally. So Josh and I spoke, and fucking over Bloom has been a long-standing project. All right, you need two things to take down Bloom. You need to get people to rally behind your cause to separate you from the trolls. And we need bots, and a lot of them to handle the data CTOS is processing. Thank you, Josh. We spent all night modifying our app so you can get followers to download the app, and we can use their processing power for the cause. This is happening? It's really happening? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, this is happening. You better get to it. <laughs> Hell yeah, man! Barbarians are at the gate ready to bust some Roman heads. Yeah, we're gonna focus on some high-profile ops, playing for exposure and laughs to get people to download our app. Mm -hmm. All right. Don't worry, so that was something fun. <laughs> Marcus! Haha, <laughs> check you out! Alive and dry. I wasn't sure after your moonlight swim. Come here, you've got to check this out. Behold, our very own open source research app. So, like, all of us here pool vulnerabilities that we find, and we encourage everyone to share their work, their research, etc. Okay, so what's the research app do? Widen our skill set? Make us irresistible to the gender of our choice? What, so it's like a I know kung fu kind of deal? If kung fu was a gender and not so 1999, absolutely. All right, select the research. This is where you're going to be able to start your operations and everything. Or oh, actually, no, this isn't that. That's the other thing. I got him confused for a minute. All right, remote control. I like that. Vehicle hacking. That's probably a necessity. 
I like how it shows you like a little preview as well. Let's go ahead and get this one. Did he just like gun somebody down right there? <laughs> it's like, oh shit! Alright, so we're good on that. We have we have zero points available now. Alright, now as far as uh, everything else, let's just go ahead and talk to him. Behold, I'm gonna make this video as packed as possible. Of technology. A 3D printer? This is the army of printers. It is capable of pumping out an arsenal of little weapons down. Seriously? Yep. Once you master it, voila! Hipster merchant of death. All good, except I'm no hipster. <laughs> you keep telling yourself that. Now try to make something. But don't blow us up. So we, I don't think we can print the drone yet. I think we're going to get the little uh, thing on wheels. I can't remember what it's called. The jumper, that's it. And you can like... <laughs> put, I wonder if you put like chrome wheels and shit on that thing. Get a damn drone with platinum propellers. And I also gotta print a weapon. I like how you can't just print both at once. Let's get the stun gun. I don't know if I want any of these. Actually, let's do this one. Uh, empty weapon slots. I'll take free, why not? Look how he inspects it. <laughs> he just sits there and chills with it for a minute. I'm digging the blue jacket though. Alright, gadgets and weapons. Hold up on the wheel. Yeah, yeah, I got all that. Alright, so we're essentially just going around and meeting everyone, so. Good to have another brother here. Good to be here, man. Are you all hackers? Yeah, kind of a basic requirement to get invited into the hacker space. But we all have our specialties, like Josh over there. Always building shit that shouldn't work. Now he's trying to build this big ass drone. And wrench? Good engineer too. But better at breaking shit apart. And yo, Satara? Sis got skills as an artist and a graphic designer. Without her, dead sex walking around without a face or voice. What about you? What's your superpower? Tactical coordinator or cat herder. Take your pick. I make dead sex go where it has the most impact. You heard of Prime 8? Those are some real dirty hacking motherfuckers. Yeah, I've brushed up against them before. It wasn't pleasant. All right, that's what I like to hear. Link up with me when you're ready to do this and I'll fill you in. There's always someone running ops against Prime 8. Bet they'd love your help. Alright, online. I actually turned some of this off. I didn't want it to be like nuts if I was trying to make a video for you guys and someone hacked into my shit. I started talking shit into a mic. I would have to like... I'd have to go off on somebody. <laughs> I'd have to be like, oh shit! It's but the first one had really cool right? online. This whole place is something. We used to keep track of news feeds on here. But now, it's our follower wall. So it knows if we're trending? No, no, no. It's based on hard values. How many people downloaded our app, how much processing power we have access to. You know. Nice. And, speaking of which, we're downloading the DeadSec app into your phone as we speak. When it's ready, open it up, click the suggested op, and hit the park outside so we can test it. Sounds good. One more thing. I put a reminder on your phone so you remember what we're gunning for. Get enough processing power to take down Blue. Now that's what the walk in the park is. Nice. Can you just chill on the couch? Hang on. Oh, you actually set on a lot. So if you don't like the certain times of day, you just, uh, you do that. Let's open the phone up. This is the app I thought had the missions in it earlier, so. Alright, we have the, uh, Taking Down Bloom. Now that's the one that's like the overall story. And then we have, uh, you get basically gotta get so, so many followers if you see right there. And then, walk in the park. We're about to go do that one, so let me go ahead and track it. All right, we're good. That should be everything. I really want to make this first video kind of long, so I think I'm just going to keep on going for you guys. 
I think it's amazing though. So each operation is like a completely new thing. Uh, this next one's gonna be badass though. All right, so when you come out the building, oh shit, we get that breaking news. What is this? Mission and progression world exploration. It pays to explore the San Francisco Bay Area. Coming up after the break, we'll be sitting down with a former street artist. Sweet T, as he's known in the community, is here to promote a new book of his art and a brand new fashion line, including t-shirts, caps, and bling. Very exciting stuff. Guy's name is Sweet T. The app's downloaded and I'm in the park. What am I testing? Start profiling things around you. People, devices. See what you can pull from them. That's what helps us figure out our next ops. And running ops that are important to people is how we get them interested in DedSec. The more followers download our app, the more intel we get. It's the circle. I just set up stole that guy's money. And see if you can find some components to help us with our research. Keep star merchant! <sighs> The app is your data mining tool. Of death. Okay, okay, I got this. So what now? Up to you, man. You're free to do whatever catches your eye. We post ops to the DedSec app, and doing them helps us get followers. And followers are our Skrilla. Followers mean computers, which boosts our processing power, which lets us do bigger and better ops. All right, so we're about to start this hey, next operation. So it's about Bobo Dakes. You know Bobo's working on a new album, right? Yeah, I heard. Well, you won't get to hear it? Motherfucker Gene Carcaney just put millions on the table to keep it all to himself. What does a big pharma CEO want with a rap album? Dude has a huge Bobo collection. And he probably wants to hang that shit on his wall like a damn trophy. He's just rubbing his money in our faces, bruh. Do you know if Bobo took the deal? He hasn't announced anything yet, but he will. It's a lot of cash. And maybe there's still time for an intervention. Time for what? All right, discover a side operation. I assume you guys have heard of Gene Carcani. He's the shit sack who's on TV laughing about how he's raising the price of leukemia medicine. Yeah, the most hated man in America? Yeah, why are you asking? Guy's a huge Bobo Dakes fan. Must have read Bobo's in town reporting new tracks because he's offering millions to keep the album to himself. So stupid. Bobo will never go for it. The real one won't. So we're gonna do it for him. I'm gonna visit Bobo and see if I can borrow some of his new tracks as proof that we're legit. How do we contact Karkani? I need you guys to run through interviews, podcasts, whatever. Find me some usable lines. We're gonna make a soundboard. Ooh, I love this. Nobody look. I'm still in a creepy ass van. I don't know. Glove box looted, gold ring. Did you guys see that? Marcus, guys, the cyber driver trailer just dropped. Oh yeah, sweet. Hey, don't watch it without me. <laughs> Meet you at the hacker's wave. I'm on my way. All right, so that's kind of what happens. So when you when you select like anything other than the main missions, if there's no main missions, there's like a, I guess a time frame. We'll go ahead and start this one up so I can track it. And I'm still this motorcycle. Look at the helmet, though. Ow, I need this. Hey, this. What the hell? What was the guy in? What was it in Vice City or San Andreas? I couldn't remember. Where <laughs> they'd kick him off and go, "I need this." Oh my goodness. I having flashbacks to like G GTA 3 when you uh, it was like super hard to fly the plane and everything else. I had a friend. We just play it like it was a multiplayer game almost. All right, I think we're good. I like the mystery van in front of us. All right, let's go start this bitch up. Hope you guys are doing well, by the way. I'm actually, uh, I'm planning on playing the full game if you're interested, so it's gonna be fun. I'm, I'm excited to see how these other operations go and everything. It's gonna be, uh, there's like, they said there's like 20 of them or somewhere around there. So it's a pretty long campaign from what I remember hearing about at least. All right, let's go start this up. Hey, Marcus. Have you seen 
seen the trailer for the new Jimmy Siska movie? No, it's out. Hey, hey, pull it up, no, man. No, no, not on this. For this, we need perfect sound. We need a big screen. We need to be comfy. You're right. We need quiet. Have you seen it yet? No, man. I waited for you. You're the best. Thank you. All right, everybody, we're gonna watch the trailer. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. In a world where technology connects everything, I'm not looking for justice. God damn it. One man prowls the information superhighway in search of cyber justice. I'm looking for cyber justice. Simple line of code could devastate the whole world. It's gonna be a cyber caster. Cyber Driver. Hit him with the code flurry, Chip. Jimmy Siska is... Got no choice, kiddies. Follow me, or die. Devin Von Devin. We gotta get these hackers somewhere safe. They aren't hackers, Devin. They're just script kiddies. Hey, the car answered. This ain't your mama's smart car. I think next time we're gonna need a higher firewall, pal. Cyber, Cyber Driver. Action hero, badass. Talking car, admit it, Josh. The car is cool. You know what I'm thinking? We cut our own version of that trailer. And that car is going to help us do it. Real? Wouldn't have us a ton of followers. Yo, first, Josh and I will go to the studio to get that script. We'll look around and see what other gems they have about death sec, and we'll look for the car. All right, so what's the deal here? Are we, are we issuing an advisory? No, why would we do that? They'll just patch the holes. No, uh, let them. Don't worry, Cyber Child. Oh, don't. Hacker movie's gonna get hacked. HMP Studios, we are holding you solely responsible for the draft that is Cyber Driver. Cyber Driver. Cheesy stunts and bad dialogue, we can take. But you've insulted our intelligence, and that we can't excuse. It seems like you could do with a lesson on what hackers are capable of. And since you didn't come to us to learn, we'll come to you to teach. We are launching Operation Hack and Run. We'll show you what hackers can do. We are dead set. All right, drive to HMP Studios. Well, you know what? I'm gonna keep it going. Why not? I'm actually gonna see if there's any extra clothing I have in here that uh, I can check out. We got a Scout X location nearby. I'm not too worried about that. Now, I wonder if you start with certain things. That's the one I already have. What about this one? The official... Oh, this is like the official blue jacket. I might as well put that on for this. It's pants go? Yeah, it's only the ones I've got. I didn't know you could change your bag. That's kind of cool. What about hats? I actually prefer the hat now. Nice. What do I have on that's different? I guess I do have those on. And as far as footwear goes, street shoes, power spark. Might as well wear them. I don't, I don't like the mask. And it's cool that he does that, though. I wonder if he wears it in cutscenes. That would be kind of weird. Like some games that do that, they kind of forget to take it off. <laughs> it's like... I remember in Dead... I think it was Dead Rising. Or Dead Rising 2 or 3. I can't remember which one it was. I had like the Mega Man outfit on. And you would do a cutscene and your dude would just keep wearing it. Alright, I'm going to actually transition when I get over there. So hang tight, guys. So what I wanted to do with this video... Uh, I wanted this to be the longest part one I've ever done. I think I just murdered somebody. Oh my god. I, I can't believe it either. <laughs> he was like, oh shit! Oh yeah, I'm gonna try to just give this my all, so. It's gonna drive on in. And there it is. Hook Motion Picture Studios. So some of you have already seen this, but I'm just gonna knock this operation out for you. As quick as I can. I may cut around some of it, but 
Uh, for the most part, I really just wanted this first video to kind of get us caught up to where I had a lot of extra footage that I didn't put up early, uh, mainly because I just didn't want to spoil the game too much. So, check out this guy. I'm going to make him send a text message. Who the fuck? He's a school nurse. What? What? Yeah, duh. Oh. What kind of conversation is that? That's so funny. I'm going to take her... Or get some of that butt net. All right, so the good news is all I have to do is get inside right there. I may just go up here myself. I think I used uh, I use like everything but the main character sometimes. All right, so I'm gonna try something real quick. I got as far as I could put it back down. There we go. I'm going to stay on the stairwell. I don't know if it's safe. We're going to find out, though. I just got to get close enough to hack that and then go down there and get the movie script. Oh, we should be good there. I took down everybody with that. I I'm starting to get like, I don't know if that actually happened because of me now. Like, I'm... I'm just kind of interested. All right, we got that. Nice. Now the problem is, I'm on the steps back there, if you can see me, like, a uh, little the silhouette of me sitting down with, the, like, the laptop. I don't think there's anybody back here. I think I killed everyone. Alright, let's do this. I'm telling you, man, that said R2-D2. That's what that is. Nice. Here we go. Nice. The not so secret emails. Can I get the movie script from the camera? I can't remember. Download the studio emails. I think I might just. Oh god. Okay, as long as that guy just chills right there. I'm gonna try hopping across. Actually, I just realized if I go through the front, it won't really matter. Yeah, we we'll just do that then. This reminds me of the bat vision you have, and uh, they actually might see this thing, but it doesn't matter. And when she looks down, that's when Devin Von Devin hits. That's far enough. I won't hesitate. It's right there, isn't it? Right, and you say Devin's lying. Nice. That's my friend you just killed. Like it never happened. Leave the area. I All right, let's go back to we him. Got the full script to Cyber Drive. What about the car? I don't think it's on site. We'll find it. I'm heading out now. All right, let's get the hell out of here, man. That was a lot smoother than I thought it would be. Hey guys, I found an email that says the car is being delivered to a location, but it doesn't say where or when. That's okay. I think I have a backup plan. All right. With that being said, I love you guys. Thank you so much for all your support. It really means a lot to me. Uh, again, it would be sick to see this video do well. Not really required, but I will be playing the full game. It's going to be a long game, but it's going to be fun. And I'm looking forward to uh, seeing how the story unfolds with you guys. So I'll catch you in the next video. And with that being said, take it easy, guys.